In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import an AutoCAD drawing file and also get it ready for whatever edits you're going to make, whether that's actually editing the floor plan that you have imported or adding your own furniture layout. Okay, so as you can see, I've already set up my SketchUp file, my new SketchUp file that I have just opened. So I've gone to Camera, Standard Views, Top, and I've selected Parallel Projection. And this means that this is set up um, for the creation or editing of 2D geometry. And in this instance, I am going to be importing a 2D floor plan. So this is the optimum setup for that scenario. I have also chosen the drawing template of interiors and this is how it looks. With regards to the styles, I have shaded with textures um, selected there. Uh, if I chose hidden line, um, that would mean that the entire floor plan would be in black and white only, but I'll just leave it in shaded with textures at the minute. And if we have to make any modifications, to the face styles, I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to go to file and then import. The first thing you need to do is make sure in the bottom right hand corner here that AutoCAD files um, is selected. If you just click on that, you'll see a whole uh, list of options. We need to make sure that AutoCAD files has been selected because that means that you will then be able to see all of the AutoCAD files or DWG files um, that will, you know, appear in your computer. And right here, this is the one that we want right here. It's called Final Floor Plan. So just to clarify that AutoCAD files are also known as drawing files, which is abbreviated as DWG. And you can see that right here. If we go to options, you will see a number of options that are available when you are going to import an AutoCAD drawing file. Um, I have all of these ticked. Um, I don't have preserved drawing origin ticked, but you could tick that if you wanted to. And for the scale, the model units um, has been selected. So that means that whatever units I have selected in my uh, SketchUp settings will also be used when importing the um, AutoCAD file, okay? So then I'm going to select Import and you will see um, the import results. This is just a little bit of information regarding the file and the geometry that you are going to import. I mean, it's really not anything to be getting kind of, you know, excited about really. And then select close and you will see instantly that your floor plan has imported. Isn't that amazing? Now, what you can see here is that two floor plans have imported because when I created this AutoCAD file, I actually created two floor plans. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to focus on one. So what you can see here is that this floor plan has actually um, attached itself to the origin and as you know from my previous tutorials the origin is at the center of where the axes meet okay so the origin is right at, at this center mark right here and if i click on uh, any of the geometry you will instantly see that it's actually imported as a group i think it's a group oh sorry no it's a component my apologies it's a component so obviously in order to carry out any edits or to prepare this for what we want to do, we need to explode that, okay? So I'm going to select explode. So what you do is you select the floor plan, you right click and you select explode. Now very quickly, I'm going to delete all of the geometry that I don't need, okay? And I'm going to select zoom extents. And what that does is it increases the geometry to the full size of the screen and it centers it, okay? Zoom extents is amazing. And it is something that you should be using quite regular um, when you're creating geometry and using SketchUp. It's a very good way to keep you organized and to keep your file organized. It's actually very good at um, saving time as well. So let's just zoom that out a little so that we can see this a little better. 
And what I'm going to do, first of all, is remove all the furniture and the little bits of geometry that we don't need. I just want the absolute basic elements off the floor plan. All of these added things will create problems when we're going to reinstate the faces, okay? So what you will notice is, as I'm clicking all of these areas, you will notice that there are no faces. Um, so unfortunately, they don't um, actually appear in any of the floor plans that you import um, as AutoCAD plans. So we need to um, reinstate those. So what I'm suggesting you do is remove all of these furniture components. We can move them over to the side if you would want to, if you think maybe you're going to want to use those later. But at the minute, when we're trying to reinstate all of the faces that we need, which is really important when it comes to adding color and texture and just general manipulation and creation of geometry as well in SketchUp. So as I said, I'm going to move all of the furniture elements out of the way. So what I'm going to do is select control and you'll see a little cross beside my cursor. I'm going to click and drag and create a box around the furniture elements that I want to select because I'm going to move these and then release. So you can see blue bounding box around these to show that they've been selected. Make sure that you continue to press control so that you can continue to select all of these um, objects. So I'm just going to make sure that these are all selected because I want to move all of these out of the way to make the process of reinstating the faces so much easier, okay? Then I'm going to select move and I'm going to click and drag in the direction of the red axis and then click okay so they're just over on the other side here and then what I'm going to do is just see all these boxes I'm going to remove all of these um, because it'll just make it a little bit easier to reinstate all of the faces let's get all of these out of the way you can obviously reinstate all of this after you have all the faces um, in place. The, the dashed lines may be an issue, but we'll deal with that if we need to. Now, you can also see here that there, there are more components or groups here with regards to these windows. So I'm going to select the entire floor plan. I'm going to, oh, let's do that again. I'm going to right click and select explode. So now everything is exploded. There are no groups or components in this floor plan. Now what I'm going to do is select the rectangle tool. I'm going to click just outside the floor plan and drag right down to the very bottom hand corner, just outside the floor plan and release. And now you can see that the entire area is blue. But when I click on that, everything is selected. Okay, so we need to um, distinguish the geometry of the floor plan from the rectangle that we've just created. Let's select the line tool, go to the top left hand corner of the floor plan. You will see the end point there, it's a green circle. Bring that up following the green axis to the edge and then just bring that all the way down to this edge. And you will instantly see that some areas of the floor plan are being selected on their own, which is great. So you can see all of the walls here are being selected when I click on those. And you can see that all of these areas are being selected when I click right here. So we need to continue distinguishing those um, pieces of geometry. So I'm going to draw a line over this line. Make sure that you start on an end point so you can see the green circle and that you end on an, on an end point where you see the green circle. If you um, don't make sure that you're following the axis and that you are starting and stopping on endpoints, you may start creating additional geometry that you don't need or want. So just make sure that you're following the, the correct lines and endpoints. And you can instantly see that just by drawing on top of that edge right here, 
I'm now able to select this independently of everything else. But you can see here that all of this geometry is still being selected. So let's just draw a line here. And let's draw a line here. Okay, so that's good. So now you can see that, okay, so this part here is quite, um, is still being selected when I, you know, there's quite a, 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 there's quite a few different elements here being selected at the same time. So let's just try that again. Okay, so I click here and all of this is selected. So let's just see if we can start separating that a little bit better. Okay, so that's good. And as you can see, you know, that's great. That's all starting to really um, separate nicely. And if you see any others there, I mean, there's one right here. That's probably because of the dashed lines. So let's just remove that and put a line in there. Okay, and you can see that that has um, distinguished fine, although it didn't have a, an issue with this dashed line, which is a little bit weird. But we'll just replace that anyway. And if I just go in closer there, there's actually a dashed line there too. Let's just um, replace that with a line. And let's select zoom extents. Okay, so what we need to do now is remove the outer boundary of the, that rectangle that we drew because that's not actually part of the floor plan. So let's delete that and let's delete the edges off that rectangle as well. And just for the purposes of um, this tutorial, I'm just going to remove all of the furniture. But obviously, if you wanted, you could place those on their own layer or tag. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just focusing, focusing on the floor plan. And then what I'm going to do is select everything, right click and select reverse face because that should all be white. As I mentioned before, if I had the style of hidden line selected, then I wouldn't have had to worry about that because everything would have been black and white anyway. So let's select zoom extents. Is there a little bit of geometry there that shouldn't be there? Because why is that? Let's just select that and then press delete. That should be up at the top here. Why is that happening? Oh, yes, there is. There's a little bit of geometry right there. Okay, <laughs> let's fix that. Standard views, top, camera, parallel projection, zoom extents. And that is how you import an AutoCAD drawing file into SketchUp. In this instance, a 2D floor plan and get it ready so that you can carry out further edits or um, additional furniture layouts or whatever your heart desires.